Andrea, Leeds United celebrate their 100th birthday today. How proud are you to be chairman of the club on this occasion? Uh, first of all, thank you for coming to visit me. It's an important moment. I want to uh, take the opportunity to send my best wishes and happy birthday to Leeds United uh, fans, uh, legends, ex-players, players and everybody who is um, linked to the club. It's a very important day. Uh, one of the years not for everybody. Uh, we are old enough to remember our past, but also still very young and determined to have a bright future and uh, go into the next 100 years with uh, hope and um, strong motivation to be a good club again, a big club again. You've been involved with, with Leeds for, for three of the, the 100 years. How pleased are you with the progress you've made? No, I think we have uh, done a strong, um, very massive improvement uh, and we, had, we have uh, working on a curving, um, on a learning curve, sorry. Uh, for sure, the first year of my experience as the owner of the club uh, has been difficult because um, probably I paid the inexperience and uh, uh, hopefully I learned from the mistake. Last year was my second year and we were very close to the promotion. Um, we are a fantastic manager like Marcelo. I think we have developed good players and not only in the first team, but also we can see the under 18 and under 23. When I arrived, we had only one or two national team players. Now we have probably about uh, 12 to 14 national team players between under 18 and under 23. So the future is bright for this club, but I think also the immediate um, future and the present could be very successful. I strongly believe in the job uh, done and Max, for Marcelo and what he can do in the next few months. And I believe in the players a lot. You've shown your commitment to the club again this summer, keeping hold of Calvin Phillips and, and other players given new deals. Mm. Do you feel your long-term future is, is at Leeds United? Mine, for sure. <laughs> Especially if we are in Premier League. If we are not, I think uh, I can get tired of this league. But I'm working very hard to get out of, of here. And, uh, and be together with the club and the players where we, we, we deserve to be. There's been a lot of talk about investment into the club following an interview yes. you gave last week. Can you clarify the comments made about investors? Yeah, I would love to clarify because I think my words were taken in a different context. Um, because of the job we have done uh, in the last two, three years, I think we have, uh, we have um, uh, attracted a lot of interest. Obviously, the club has modernized in any level. is uh, shown by our uh, revenues that increase uh, a lot to over 50 million pounds. In, uh, our attendance is the top of the league. Uh, the club uh, modernized the media. We have partnership like uh, Amazon, uh, Wish, uh, Deliver. So big corporate uh, start to work with Leeds. And this before my arrival was impossible even to think. So I think we need to be proud of the club and uh, the fact that we are attracted to potential investors. Then, when and if uh, we will open the discussion and uh, concretely is another story. Uh, depends on, on uh, the, the right moment where, where I, will, I believe we, can have, we need support to build the club bigger than what we, we could do with our own resources. Do you have one game or moment that you've treasured more than any since you bought the club? Um, every win, but I think, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the the best moment of joy I had have been uh, like uh, quickly erased by the defeat last year uh, with Derby. But at the, end, the same time, it gave me much more strength and motivation because we all deserve it, so we need to fight harder. And I have faith and faith and believe and hard work will pay off one day. There are lots of events to celebrate the club's birthday, culminating in a gala dinner with over 50 mm. legends of the club attending. Um, how much are you looking forward to, to all of it? Um, it's exciting, I think. I know some of the faces. Mm. The other I'm studying to be ready to meet all of them. And um, I mean, with the club had few amazing eras in the 70s and the early 2000s. Obviously, for my age, I remember the, the early 2000s, the team of um, Champions League. It's, I, I can understand any way how it could be for a Leeds fan to have all these legends in, in town. And for us, I think it's a great m moment, opportunity to feel the history and uh, use it as a um, motivation for approaching the future.